One of the biggest time savers for me as a developer is staying on a keyboard as much as possible. Clicking around is a waste of time. So if you're looking to improve your workflow and forget about your mouse, here are some useful shortcuts to learn. Before we start, if you say keyboard shortcuts, these two words start with letters K and S. Press Command or Control if you're on Windows and type KS. This will open keyboard shortcut settings. Here you can do two things. You can type in a keyboard shortcut and it will find all commands that use it. And if you want to be more precise, put the quotes around it. Or you can also search for commands by their names. Let's start with the big one. You can search for go to file and find it to any key you like. It opens a search bar for you where you can search for any file in your project and jump to it. The default shortcut is Ctrl P. I use Shift Shift. Here's a little trick that I use. This search bar will always contain the most recently opened file, so let's make a use of it. I've added the two additional keyboard shortcuts. First is Ctrl E, which is the same as Shift Shift for me. It opens the search bar. But here's the trick. I've also set the Ctrl E shortcut to this command here. What this does is that if you keep pressing Ctrl E, it will cycle through the most recently opened files. For example, if I wanted to go to the previous file, I would simply press it twice. Two files back in history, I press it three times, and so on. The important detail is that you need to add this condition. Right click and select change one expression, type in file speaker and in quick open and save it. It's really useful. I'm pretty sure it will save you a lot of time. Another useful search command is go to symbol. It allows you to quickly jump to things like functions, variables, classes, etc. Default shortcut for it is Control shift O. I've opened this file and it has a function named read project something. I know it exists, but I want to jump to it. So I just press Control shift P, search read project and jump. It's more convenient than the classic search because it only finds the definitions, not all the occurrences of the search string. This is fun, but if you don't know the file names by heart, sometimes you might need to use the file explorer. For me, it's hidden by default and I use two commands to toggle it. First one's cool. It's called reveal an explorer. So whichever file is currently open will get focused in the explorer when I use it. To make it work this way, you'll need to add these conditions here. I bind it to control Q. And the other way around, the file explorer is already focused, the same shortcut will close it. If you need to navigate up and down, I think by default you can use arrow keys here, but I used a different set of keybinds. I use O to go up, L to go down, like WASD pattern, but on the right side. To create a new file, I press N. Delete file, I press D. Create a new directory, Control Shift N. Collapse all folders, and this is a weird one. Control K C. Okay, I promise this is the last one about jumping around. I'm sure you are familiar with Control Shift F command, which allows you to do a full text search in the project. Do you know? You can then press Command Enter to see all your results like this. Even more so, you should bind a go to definition command to a key. For me, it's a GD, and I'm a Vim user, that's why it works. But you can also use something like Command B, for example. It will jump to a file. And then you can press Command E twice, and you're back in the results. Let's change the subject here a little bit. Listen, if you're not using Vim key bindings, you're missing out on a lot. Learning Vim is almost a life-changing experience. The learning curve is steep, but trust me, it's so worth it. There is an easy mode, however. Not sponsored or anything, but if you want to learn Vim, try the Vim Adventures game. And I will link it in the description. It is a really fun way to finally learn it. Also. Here's a secret tip, but don't tell any Vim Power users about it because they will cancel me for it. If you're a gamer, WASD buttons are probably your second nature. In Vim, it's this weird one line, I never liked it. But guess what? You can bind anything to anything in Vim. So instead of using HJKL, I use OKL and whatever is the next character. It is a WASD pattern, but on the other side of the keyboard. It feels so much more natural and you don't have to learn everything from scratch, so it will feel kind of like you already know something, and then you will keep adding to it. Seriously, I couldn't learn Vim before, I just hated it, but once I changed those key bindings, I fell in love with Vim, and I can't imagine ever coding without it. One editor's not always enough. Press Ctrl 1, 2, 3, and so on to split my screen, open new editors, and switch the focus between them. Those are the default ones, so just give it a go. And to close the editor, press Command W, just like in Chrome. If you use the terminal inside your VS Code, here's the command to 
toggle it on and off. I won't even try to pronounce this. Okay, here's the last one. It's basically a Google, but for VS Code. I don't know what's the default shortcut, but command name is show all command. And that's exactly what it does. I need to do something, but not sure where to look for it. If it's possible to find, it's going to find it for you. If you're still here, you're the best. It took me forever to record this video, so if you found it useful, like, subscribe, comment, whatever works for you. Thank you so much.